I really have the need, the need to weed. So I thought I'll spend an hour weeding in my garden. So I got my trusty bucket and also my trusty little weed puller. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this area, I want to continue planting Achevilia lilacina and also I've got some Francesco Baldi as well. I have a few bulbs that are growing. So this one, actually, I really love that plant, but I still want to plant some succulents around it. So I've got my aloe here. This is aloe. It's just grown in a pot there and was able to weather the frost that we get here. I think the coldest this year we got was minus seven. My little dragon is in need of a new place to live in. So I'm just gonna clean out this area, maybe see how far I go. So also at the front here where I have my bin or recycling bin, there are plenty of this erigiron or seaside daisy that I planted before. It's just mainly to fill up this area while I can't decide what to do with my garden and now it has overtaken the whole area and during springtime this just blooms and it's just all white flowers but it's just beautiful but still I want to get rid of them and put succulents as well uh, instead of this plant so this one now is Santolina the the premise of this plant this Oh, nice herbs and you can use it for cooking that's why I planted them here but I never expected it to grow this big so that has to go anyway this one that's uh, I think it's a form of grevillea I forgot exactly what the name is called but it's got beautiful pink flowers and this is a ground cover so I'm gonna leave that there that way it can meander around the succulents that I'm gonna put in it so anyway, I've got one hour to do, one hour and 20 minutes now because I've been chit-chatting with you. So set aside an hour for myself to just clean up this area and then that way I can start planting my succulents. Just gonna hack into this Santolina here. Ooh. I've got this lumandra here as well, which is like a native Australian grass. And I think, I don't know whether I wanna leave it here or transplant it. So I think I might just transplant it somewhere else as well. Because it'll just ruin the look of my succulents. My hour is already over <laughs> and also, my bin is full, so I now have to cook dinner and oh my goodness, okay, these ones now are out in the open, I just need to, and also I've gone to half the flax that I've got there, so now I've cleared all up and you can see my watering, my pitiful watering system before when I had my cottage garden and also, I like to say and, and, okay, so this one now, I'm able to save, I don't know if I could chop it up or do something with it, because I really love the, the flowers on this plant, so some, some form of Australian native grevillea, but anyway, that area there, hang on, I'm just going to go over here, this just needs uh, tweaking or pulling out those minor 
weeds. This is a daisies that sprouted, so which is actually good because I can follow the roots when I pull it out. So that way, pre uh, lessens it growing. So I don't have to pull out so much because if you pull off the leaves, look what happened. They grow back. So unless you take out the roots, they will keep coming back. And I still have this area to do here. And for now, I'm going to leave it. I'll come back tomorrow and pull out those little weeds that sticking out, just clearing it all up. And then I can start planting my succulents. So this is still a big area to do. So I'd say I have to devote, if I devote, say, an hour or two a day in this area, then I can have this done in a week or two weeks time. At least that's one area that I can tick off my list of things to do. Everyone's busy working in the garden. So this is now a couple of days later. I'm just cleaning up this corner here because this is what I want to fill up. First up to match up or even out that side of the garden. You can't really see it, can you? <laughs> to this side here. And I have to finish the tiling on that front door there as well and my door uh, that was supposed to be only a temporary door but 10 years later <laughs> we didn't manage to change the door but anyway someone was supposed to do a laser cut door for that one but anyway uh, I'm gonna worry about that later on but for now here so one on the side is got some angle grinder on the other right hand side my neighbors got the va the vacuum cleaner the lawnmower going so anyway I wanna do a duplicate of this side so that green pot there I, that's a loquat tree with some ghost plant. Now on this side, I've got a Gumby Gumby tree and that's supposed to be medicinal. So the Aboriginal uh, people of Australia have used this for thousands of years, the Gumby Gumby tree for all sorts of cure for different ailments. But anyway, this one now, I'm trying to remove this Lumandra grass here that is just right in the corner, which is gonna ruin the look of this side of the garden, but or this side of my garden bed. So what I wanna do is remove that. And I tried digging it out with my fork and I broke the fork. So now I'm using the fork over here. You can see that's holding the little log. So now I use the fork that broke the one with the green handle there as a holder for my light later on or something, some garden ornament. Maybe have a gecko or a lizard crawling out of there. But my dragon now has temporarily found a place to sit on. It's sitting on some logs. And this branch of this is actually a <laughs> branch of a tree I got from somewhere, I can't remember where. I just stuck it there for now and that's still moving. I still have to secure that uh, with the pot and also with the fork there. And also the edges here, I dug them all up. Uh, the, so it's just basically digging them all up and I'm going to top it up with soil. But for now, I really want to remove this lomandra here, which is annoying. I tried to dig it out, but then now to no avail. So I've got another fork and if I break that, then I haven't got anything to use, so I thought I'll just use my crowbar. So we're going to crowbar this one. Oh, this is heavy, but anyway. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, there you go. There's no movement in the station. Hear the thud. No, don't break. There you go. The plant can break, but I'm not gonna break the crowbar. Oh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Woohoo! 
There you go. Oh. Oh. That was a job and a half. Now, <laughs> I can now prepare this area for transplanting or planting my succulents. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll just keep you updated because if I wait till I have some plants and it's going to be taking a while before you could even see what I'm doing. So for now, I'm just going to bid you adieu, 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 adieu. Hang on, I'm just going to clean up my crowbar and I'm going to clean up that area over there. And what am I going to do with this lomandra grass? I'm actually going to put that over there where the logs are so this area here i've got some time i got i haven't got time but i have some time herb growing in there oh they smell so nice this one's so this spot here is a good spot to grow some lomandra and that one is a sister's that's got beautiful pink flowers and the white flowers or whatever that is is coming out and also this um, silver birch, this is Habi's plant or tree. He likes silver birch, but it died. We actually paid $75 for this plant. Look, that's it, it's rotted now. Look at that. So now I can just use that for something else because I can't put this back in the garden. That's just gonna rot again. And then now I have a spare spot here, which is actually even better. So now I can maybe get another one of these shrub or these bushes here. I forgot what it's called, but they, if you actually chop this one, it becomes like a beautiful topiary thing. So maybe get a couple more of these things once the border opens. Because across my neighbor, look, that big round ball thing in there, these are the same plants. So I just have to find out what the name of these plants is or these bushes and then I'm gonna get a couple more when Bunnings or my hardware store open up. Oh my goodness, daffodil is blooming. Are you daffodil or jonquil? I think you're jonquil. But anyway, we're gonna do a smell test. It's hard to tell, I think it's a daffodil. Oh, gorgeous.